Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to get proper training before you start using real money. Today is Monday and uh, we're about to close for today. It's 3.20 p.m. Uh, before we start cover the auto trades, uh, we're going to cover different auto trade. It's the automated signal entry comes with a five different automated trade this is based on one contract you don't have to trade all of them you can trade the ES NASDAQ YM only or you can trade all of them if you want to based on the last entry not the whole day the last entry signal is uh, 58 ticks uh, on the NASDAQ uh, we have 291 ticks based on one contract and then uh, we have the YM at 120 and you can uh, trade uh, there has come five different automated trade you can trade it from the fib line re-entry or if you want to you can and the trading stop is a fib line it's not a, just a dummy a trading stop so this is uh, based on the one minute this market analyzer and this one here is a base on a 15 second but right now there is no more trace for today and this is the 15 second chart you get the entry and the target and uh, right now on the one minute uh, we have 1000 ticks into the profit based on the last entry only on the scalper 15 second we have 545 takes profit based on the last entry signal and this one comes with the five different automated trade now we are jumping to the total different auto trade called the precision auto trade You know, actually, this uh, year is not as bad as uh, some other Christmas. I mean, we are three days away to Christmas. Normally, it is uh, much slower than that. And uh, uh, there is not much volume, not much activities at the moment because of the holidays within three days. But uh, it is very impressive that uh, what we planned this year to use a lower time frame and uh, what I want to show, I want to show, compare the higher time frame with the lower time frame. And it is much easier when you have an entry, it's very good. Then you will see uh, that uh, the lower time frame, if there is a decent auto trade, uh, can do the job even around the Christmas or around the summer when the kids are out of school, there is no volume, the market is flat. And uh, today it was, at the beginning, was a little bit hard. It was nothing. And then the market start moving, stopping. It's a very typical um, uh, Christmas week where you're not going to get much action. But uh, I was very impressed that uh, with, the, with the time frame we are using this year, uh, it, is, um, it did the job very well. And of course, it requires a good auto trade, not a dummy tra uh, auto trade uh, based on ATRs, a moving average. If the, the auto trade is more advanced, auto trade can do the job on the smaller time frame. I was very impressed that you can survive uh, the Christmas week. So um, I want to I wanna show you comparing between a higher time frame and a smaller time frame. And you can see the results are not really different. The things is the advantage with the smaller time frame. You can be done and over in no time. The problem is you cannot use a, a smaller time frame when you have a, a, a dummy auto trade. Don't think. It's just based on moving average. Then you're going to wind up in disaster. So let's uh, see the different in the time frame. And uh, you can see there is not much different. If we take the, the nine range ES, which is a very serious uh, high time frame, it's 1250. All of them, they are based on $1,000. And if the market go into your direction, the auto trade is going to stay. 
Uh, I've been highlighting the 170 takes every single uh, video. And it is very stable on the 170 takes. It's okay. It's not a very high time frame, not a low time frame. But it did a good job. One, two, three. Three winning trades. Done. Hit the thousand before even 10 o'clock. You see, this is a really impressive. This is a smaller time frame, and uh, you can see it took one, two, three, four trades, and uh, we were done before 12 o'clock, and it's 15.50. So the, 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 the smaller time frame, when you have a good auto trade, it should do the job. And uh, the precision auto trade is a very friendly use. Even on a normal days in January, it is very easy to use uh, the smaller time frame. Uh, but uh, the difference is on a normal day, you will be done quicker, you know, plus or minus, you will be done much quicker um, uh, to meet your target. I don't know if you have it on a target and start, let's say, around 930, most likely you're going to get some action in there. But we cannot predict the future anyway, what will happen in January. But uh, this is the 30, 46 second. And you can see it's one, two, three, four, four winning trade. It's not the amount of money. After many years, you realize it's not the amount of money. It's about the surviving in the market. Because, of course, you will have a good days and a bad days. And the secret is with the stop loss should not be big. And a lot of people has dismissed uh, uh, the, the stop loss. You cannot use a big stop loss that can do severely damage to your account. So before you do anything, ask about the stop loss. It's not the PNL. If the market moving, you're going to have uh, results. If the market not moving, you're not going to have anything in there. The priority is to ask. What is, what is the percentage on a, a daily? Is the winning trades are more than losing trades? And uh, what is your stop loss? Especially if you see a bigger high time frame. I mean, if your stop loss 300 takes, it takes one trade, and uh, it's going to put you way behind for one month. So, uh, to keep it cheap, if you have a bad trade and able you to survive until we catch the trend. Uh, the PNL is irrelevant. Is uh, the after around fifteen years training people is no longer is about the PNL is about surviving on a daily basis except the fact plus or minus and uh, keep it reasonably, um, the cost of a bad day, we need to keep it reasonable so it will not damage our account. Survival, it's not about, uh, this is not a printing machine, auto trades, and it's not a wash machine, neither is a coffee machine. You push the button and the, the dollars is gonna come out from the other side, no. Um, so the, the things is how to manage survive because the market is going to surprise us for the last 27 years, always the market did what we are not expecting. So, um, if you take an example, all those YouTuber, those newbies on the trading, uh, everybody was expecting the Bitcoin gonna hit 100,000 by Christmas and New Year Eve. Now you look at it, it's 47,000. It's done ex the opposite what everybody ex expecting. So the market is unknown from day to day what will happen. You come in on Monday, you think it's gonna be boring day, and then the market surprise you is gonna go ahead and start trending and 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 making. Uh, good money. Then you come on Friday, you expect a good move in the market, and then you find out the market is flat, 
or uh, you think it's going to go short, it's going to turn around and go long, you think it's going long, you take it long, and then turn around and go short. So always the market surprise us. We never can predict uh, what the future holding. So we always have to be alert to be the cost minimum. So the stop loss is an effect. This is a NASDAQ 590. I always highlight the NASDAQ 590. 1,280. It's been stable for many months, uh, this uh, 590. I have not modified that chart in six, seven months. And in every video, I've been showing that chart. And it's very consistent chart. I don't know how much we'll make tomorrow. Could be banana, could be down, could be plus. I don't know. But what I know, it is a very consistent chart. That's all what I know. Uh, the CL 22nd, you can see 22nd, one trade done, 1400. If we look on the mid uh, time frame, three range, NASDAQ made 3300. YM seven range, this is a very serious uh, time frame. I mean, seven range is a good time frame. It's 1,160. Five minutes is very acceptable to iron some of the noises in the market, and it made 2,000. But all those numbers are not that far from the smaller time frame. Five range ES. Winning trade, winning trade, winning trade. Lovely smooth 1200 es three minutes 1800 so if we compare the five range to the three minutes you can see there is not much different let me show you something else this is the 10 second and look beautiful trade 10 second 11.25 the things is this one here finished before 10 o'clock. This one around 9.30. And this one 10.45. This one a bit late because of the higher time frame. If we compare those three charts with the ES25 second, it's also very short time in trading. We started... I hate the first trade to be losing trade. We started with a losing trade, winning trade, winning trade, winning trade. Done. 1,000. So they all were the same range. The reason on the 30 second uh, got a little bit more than the 10 second and the 25 second because the precision auto trade can take the trade with the trend and reversal. And he nailed the reversal from here and it was perfect entry and he hit it right on the spot and that what what it is here on the last trade actually it was a smaller trade before but when he ignited this reversal here it was a bingo and then look at this after he nailed it the market was just one straight line there is no trade and this area here Auto trade make you lose money does not make you money. It's flat. You cannot make you cannot get hair out of a bull headed man. And you cannot get tick out of this. It's flat. So what what is making this chart nine hundred dollars more because he whacked that reversal and it was a perfect. If you look at this reversal for me as a manual trading it will be very hard for me to digest it and take a reversal here where the auto trade can outrun us when he's right i mean you know so this is a very small trade scalping on the nasdaq 275 1100 28 second look the different this one here took the reversal very small reversal because of the trading stop and I hit 1,000, but on the 32nd look, there is two seconds in between, and I made a lot of different, because the chart, not the auto trade, the chart movement, and um, 
that's what happened. If we compare the ES4 range, it's a very stable chart as well, the 4 range. And a bad start, I, I, I hate, the most I hate is the first trade to be losing trade. Win and trade, win and trade, win and trade, win and trade. Done before 10 o'clock. This is my favorite way to trade. Hit your target before 12 o'clock and call it off. Because it could be in the afternoon. You can double up your money. But also you can lose all your profit from the morning. You know, you cannot sit on the gambling table expecting to win every time. Uh, on the four range CL also did very well, uh, 1,030. There is much more winning trade and there is only one losing trade. I can accept that for a CL four range. I mean, this is a very small time frame for a CL. On the YM two minutes, it do a good job on the uh, two minutes. Break even, break even, and when the market was trending, nailed it, 1,400. And the scalping, 1,500 on the YM, 420 ticks. Uh, let's jump to total different auto trade called the TI7. Let me show you, this is very interesting chart. Uh, on the ES, if we notice... Uh, this is a total different auto trade from the precision auto trade. This is one auto trade, and this is total different auto trade. If you notice here, uh, it said 950. The daily target is 1,000. So we were missing 50 dollars. Should I have the auto trade taken a trade? I would have stopped with, without even the auto trade. Uh, you know hit his target I will not take a chances on the last 50 and actually if you have right now 1200 you can say close position you closed it at 2100 is fair enough why we need to stay and take more chances the same story apply on the CL 2500 Uh, 540 takes ES 1500 if you notice on the uh, because I use mainly uh, the TI7 has it many different entries and filter I like to swing trade with the TI7 and I like to scalp on the precision auto trade and if you notice today uh, this is something really tells you that you can see there is a lot of small trades cutting off because of the market movement and the swing trading today was not really appropriate uh, I mean from now till the end of this year swing trading is going to be hard and it's gonna be uh, you have to have this auto trade immediately shut down uh, the trade if he thinks the market go in the opposite direction so if you notice there is a lot of cut off trade uh, immediately was cut off uh, because uh, the market would not move to to catch and grab uh, big trades and that is um, this is the name of the game so from now till the end of the year it's the smaller time frame uh, what is uh, really uh, counts. And as we see, uh, all those minute charts, I'm not going to go one by one. They're all minutes, 13 range, 5 minutes, 115. And, and you can see how uh, when you are using a bigger time frame, in the wrong area or in the wrong timing, it, you're gonna get a little bit chopped in there. And uh, the only really, uh, we got lucky with the ES on the TI7, catch a very nice trend in here. But you can see there is a lot of small cut off trades 
because I mean, you know, the, the way the market move and the bar move when the auto trade take in a trade and then it goes back the opposite direction. Today, one of those days. So you can see the difference when you have a good auto trade. It's not based on an ATR or a MACD's. Uh, that uh, smart auto trade, you can be comfortable when you are trading with a smaller time frame because those kind of indicators ATRs and MACDs, you cannot trade them uh, on, on, on a high, uh, on, on a smaller time frame, uh, 20 seconds. This is because they are dummy, you know, they are above or below moving average. They're not thinking, it's just a black box above and below. So that can cause a disaster, of course. And um, where, let me... And uh, let me show you also on the scalping is also total different automated trade. This is also total different automated trade. It's all in your package. There is no no question about what is, goes in the package. They're all in the package, including all updates and all kind of stuff. So if we look at the scalping, the scalping today did best not the swing trading and also you can see there is a lot of a chopped in there chop trades you know and it is 3500 on the scalping and uh, this is uh, the ES two minutes 2850 and on the scalper auto trade you practically can auto trade it straight out of the box, but you can optimize it. If you've been around for a couple of years around Ninja, you can learn how to optimize it within a day or two and keep going. And uh, this is another example. He has three minutes, one minute and two minutes. And you can see the different it is really a brilliant uh, that in the 2022 you cannot come in with uh, one entry and you think you're gonna be taking the whole market with a dummy entry uh, think again because the algorithm got smarter computer got smarter software got smarter the algorithm got smarter and you have to think no matter how much you optimize an ATR or a MACD, you are very limited or maybe none. But uh, the idea is when you are auto trading, there is somebody else on the other side is using a smarter auto trade than yours, you know, because they still have uh, some amateur trading thinks an auto trade is an auto trade. You know, is it just a donkey? Uh, go to the to the farm somewhere and bring vegetables. Doesn't matter what auto trade. You know, it's like what he's saying. A car is a car. Doesn't matter if it's a Ferrari, Mercedes, or a Pinto, or a Skoda. From you know, so um, uh, no. A car is not a, just a car, you know. You cannot compare Cadillac to uh, Ford. Um, you cannot compare, you know, Rolls Royce to Nissan. Um, you know, they are total different animals. So an auto trade is not a, just an auto trade, and and you have to think that when you are auto trading somebody is using a smarter auto trade than you are so when for every hundred dollar you make somebody lose 100 and uh, also getting an auto trade without support about reading technical chart the reason they tell you just to optimize and have a nice life don't call as we call you because they cannot uh, trade a paper bag. And if they need to talk about trading, they have to hire someone.
to talk on behalf of them because they don't know a banana from a from a bar but uh, they want to sell auto trade whatever auto trade you want to buy from go for it but at least you need to buy an auto trade where also you have to understand the technical chart you don't need to learn price action you don't need to learn or sit in the room for 10 years learning you don't need to pay for learning but for God's sake, at least uh, try to get auto trade where you know how to analyze the market before you start auto trading, you know. Um, you don't uh, cross states when you go on a holiday, on a Christmas, you want to get in in your car, you want to go visit your family in another state. You don't just get in in the car and keep driving. You check up the air, the oil, your water, your gears, and then you start driving. You don't fly on the first airplane that's going out of the airport. You go do your check-in, you find where is your destination, and then you go to the gate where you fly into. and. And the, and the last 15 years training people, take my word for it, my friend. Before you ruin your holiday, in your package there is over like almost 15 auto trades. We're not talking from weakness here. But before you start your auto trade, if your eye is not trained to look what's going on, let me give you an example here. The ES, right now, as we speak, is hitting a double resistance at 45.62.25, okay? And this one is going back to the 45.55.75. So let's say if I get up in the morning and I see that, do I need to start auto trading or should I wait five more minutes? This five minutes can make a lot of difference. If Tom start auto trading here and Mike waited 10 minutes and he start auto trading, the results are different on the same auto trade, the same template. The key here, gentlemen, the key, don't listen to those guys that want to get rid of you because they don't want to do the hard work like we do. I just want to tell you, optimize, you'll be fine, have a nice life, don't call us, we call you. You know, once uh, there is a webinar once every three months. Because they are billing out of their responsibilities and they don't know how to trade, how you want them to teach you. So when you want to buy an auto trade, it's not what the auto trade can make. An auto trade, it just depends how you manage your auto trade and it has to be decent auto trade. I don't know if this auto trade, how much it will make on Monday. It could be banana. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I don't know. It could be banana. It could be 1,000. could be 100. I don't know. Until tomorrow when the market start. But this is where, no matter where you're going to buy the auto trade from, for the last 15 years, if you don't open technical chart like this one here and read what this market is all about today, if you avoid one losing trade a day, an average losing trade is around $200. That is $50,000 a year for one losing trade a day. Please bear with me. Most of the customers with Ninja Traders is the poor man, is very good things, but it's a poor man platform. And it is wonderful because they let poor people to come into trading. It's a poor man uh, platform. And it is wonderful because what Ninja Trader did they give the opportunity for this guy, the small guy with $5,000 to come in 
and have a taste of trading. If your account is $5,000, you ignore what it says here in the morning. You are jeopardizing $50,000 a year and your capital is $5,000. So this is my question, how is it working for you? Do you know how to calculate? Have you thought about it? For the last 15 years, our experience, there is a plenty of people that are gonna criticize. Even if God sent us something from the sky today, you will find millions of people that want to find something negative to say about, even if it dropped from the sky. Welcome to the internet. But ask yourself, how come you have a $5,000 account and you're ignoring one losing trade a day? It's costing you $200 by not looking at technical chart before you start auto trading. Optimization, which they have been misled, those amateur trading, the naive trading. What they do, they say optimization and you have a percentage, 8%, go ahead and buy that auto trade and jump. And then when he jump, he find out he don't land on his feet, he land on his head and he lose all his money. That's not true. You've been misled that if you optimize an auto trade, I can optimize as much as you want. I still will not know how much this one will make tomorrow. I don't know any chart how much will make tomorrow. You can optimize from now till the next Christmas, 2022. The optimization is going to give you some good ideas what time frame depends on your high risk. If you are an aggressive trader, if you are on a $5,000 or $2,000 or $10,000, how many contracts, risk reward, you can do the optimization to figure out to come into your standard. You know, you have one guy want to trade one contract, you have a guy want to trade four contracts. One guy want to have $1,000 target, another guy want to have $300 target. The guy with the 300, he's going to be in and out of the market within a few minutes and gone. So it depends how you want to cut this auto trade to fit your budget. By not looking at this technical chart, there is no auto trade will work for you. And that is guaranteed, folks. This is guaranteed. Why? If we, this is a very good example I mean, the indicators, and we help you with the knowledge for free. This ES is a stock between a support area at 45.55 and a resistant 45.63. What I want you to know, just give me one answer. How are you going to make money in here? Whether you are a manual trading, banana trading, auto trading, or voodoo trading. Just tell me where is those ticks are coming from. On any given auto trade, an auto trade requires one bar or two bars to confirm and take a trade. By the time your auto trade confirm is going to be rejected, going back, and if the auto trade taken short, it's going to reject it and go in the opposite direction. And that is the secret with auto trading kick the tires before you get in in the car kick the tires on the chart make sure the market is trending before you auto trade if you do that if you look at the chart before you turn on your auto trade your performance will increase by 100%, 100%. If you start your auto trade before you look at your technical chart, 
your possibility to survive in the market is less than 25 percent i've been trading for 27 years i've been training people for 15 years you can reject it you can brush me off you can say this is not true and you try your luck next year you challenge what i have said and let me see how far you can go in this market we are no miracle here we are a tool providers you know and uh, when you buy a car you have to have a driver license when you buy an airplane you have to have a flight uh, you have to have your pilot license and if you want to drive a truck you have to have a truck driver license in order for you to get a driver license and uh, in the trading if you don't look at your chart you're not gonna get anywhere in 2022 and that is guaranteed last year the algorithm computers programming internet they all went extremely fast the, 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 the algorithm in the trading went. We cannot even keep up with updates. And you cannot come to this market. And you remember one thing. The market always do what you are not expecting. The second thing here. If you don't know how to manage your auto trade, you will never survive in this market. Never. So, in, in 2022, people are not willing to learn and understand their basic before they start trading. In 2022, I guarantee you that much we have seen a lot for the last 27 years that year a lot of traders they're gonna be put out a lot of traders they're gonna lose their accounts if they think they are smart for the market or they're gonna ignore what we are saying here you're going to find out the hard way in 2022. You're going to be out of the game in no time. What we are doing, we are we are not just local people with a, a local programmer and doing a couple auto trades. We are doing much more than that. And we have connection worldwide. And what I have seen doing right now on those platforms not everyone is on ninja trader with rank bar trust me what they are coming out with smart platforms smart systems and if you are not a trained soldier to trade i'm saying it as is a lot of traders they're going to be filtered this year. It's going to be harder to survive in 2022 if you're not going to get your head straight and learn. If you think you're going to optimize auto trade and you're going to survive without learning, you are one big fool and you're going to pay the price heavily, which we do have some members they refuse to learn. They, all want, they just want to optimize. And some of them, they don't even want to optimize. They want us to send them a template. We have some traders. They've been uh, members for one year. They still don't know how to optimize one single auto trade because they don't want to come and learn. We have. We have a training room. We have a recorded videos. They're just not interested. They wanted to make money without lift a finger and i don't know any business you can earn money without lifting a finger in 2022 there is much smarter people coming in much smarter algorithm come in and you're no longer with your moving average atr able to survive 
this market and that is guaranteed we know what we are talking about after 27 years and if you notice right now while we are talking because i'm waiting now this market got out of this hole here you see now i can turn on my auto trade you see this is very simple patient we will continue teaching how to trade the market after New Year's Eve. Our other, uh, the, uh, the other channel right now, because of the holidays, uh, we're gonna resume after New Year's Eve, full trust on the other one. And we keep teaching for free, it does not cost any money, how to look at the chart before you start auto trading. We don't wanna teach you price action and put you 10 years. Uh, and, and learning but we need you to have the eye to say okay we are out of a danger we can trade one of the things let me show you if this ES from here to here as an example here me personally I will not trade it manually either why because in this area here is a very dangerous place to trade. So let's say if I'm auto trading in this area, I try to avoid it. When I see here there is a problem, I try to avoid it when I first start in the morning. When I get up in the morning and I see the, uh, the ES in this area here, I will wait 10 minutes. If I get up in the morning and I see this one here in this area here, I will wait 10 minutes then I start the auto trade. So the key is, trust me on this, in the morning, if you know how to look at the chart, if you know how to look at the chart, you increase your performance by 100%. If you don't look at that chart, you're going to keep buying auto trades the rest of your life and you're going to keep shooting for with your eyes closed. You know, you cannot shoot with your eyes closed and nail your target every day. Trust me on that. So, again, guys, to those naive amateur trading, Don't get fooled by just PNL. Please learn the market and um, for your own safety because not too many people will say this, what I'm saying right now. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I want to show something also uh, on the higher time frame. You can get on a higher time frame if you want. We have covered about the higher time frame on the last couple of videos. And um, and then this kind of auto trading, a uh, 30 range and eight minutes, we have covered those. Please look at the other videos and uh, try to pick up. Uh, we covered about the stop losses, you know, also it is very important. Folks, uh, that's all what we have. And uh, please, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, stop trading from now till New Year's Eve, whether you are our member or somebody else. If you're not consistent, it's a very hard time to earn money right now in this market. You know, try to enjoy your holiday. Get more training. Look at your chart, whatever chart you have. Look at your chart. Try to analyze your own chart, your own indicators. You know, observe the market before you start auto trading. Stay out of trouble from now till New Year's Eve and get ready after New Year's Eve. Whatever system you have, we're not talking about our system. We're, you know, whatever system you have, whatever system you like is fine. But please don't auto trade with your eyes closed. You're not going to make it. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And uh, we'll see you on another video. Bye for now.